So uh, how's your shoulder feel? Uh, it feels good. Uh, just a physical game we play, obviously, you know, it's just what happens when you play football. I feel good. I'm excited to go for this week. <clears throat> I guess when you had the chance to watch the film, did anything stand out differently that um, just the way you played, positives, negatives? That um, positives, I felt comfortable in there. Uh, negatives, obviously, missed a couple throws early that could have kept some drives going. But, you know, you learn from those mistakes and just continue to work on it and get better. Are you starting to feel more comfortable now that you've had a couple games under your belt? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I, uh, like I said, I felt comfortable later on in the game, like after the first couple of drives, obviously. You know, I don't know if I was a little rattled or what, but I felt I felt pretty good, so I do feel more comfortable, yes, sir. I think you mentioned Saturday that the throw over the middle that was intercepted was kind of the only one you really wanted back. Looking back on film, is that still the case? Uh, it's definitely one that I want back, yeah. Um, but a couple of throws early on in the game, the bubble to J. Lou and then the out route to Donovan, I would uh, want those back as well. And probably some more, but, you know, off, off the top of my head. You know, after Rutgers, kind of that feeling of having someone over your shoulder a little bit, just the way the whole QB process has played out. I'm curious now if you can, the way you played Saturday, if you feel a little bit more comfortable in that role. Um, you know, Taven's always a guy that's going to be right there on my heels, and, and I wanted to be like that because, I mean, whenever he was a guy, I was pushing him to be better. Whenever, whenever I'm the guy, I want him to be pushing me to be better, and I feel like he's done that, and he's been a great teammate for me. And, you know, I'm never like – I don't feel like I'm looking over my shoulder or anything, but I definitely feel like he's helped me out a lot. Like you said, when you take a hit, it kind of gets you going. Do you agree with that? <laughs> Yeah, I do. I, uh, I like the physical aspect of the game. I like to lower the shoulder every now and then. Hopefully it fires a couple of the other guys up as well whenever they see the quarterback lower his shoulder and, you know, maybe go deliver a blow to another guy. But uh, they also get on to me. They're like, hey, maybe you should slide every now and then too. And I'm like, yeah, I, I agree a little bit because some of these hits don't feel all that good. But, you know, um, yeah, I, I do like uh, giving the hit every now and then. But, yeah, I do feel like it fires some guys up. I think it's maybe maybe it's just a football player thing, but there's it seems like there's a few guys that come out and say when they get hit, it, it kind of like immerses them in the game more. Are you one of those guys? Oh yeah, I I always tell the guys I love getting hit the first time of the game. After that, it's not not as much fun. But you know, after the first hit, you feel like you're you're truly locked into the game, and you know you feel at home. Is there an art, even as a quarterback, to I guess <laughs> absorbing the contact, of understanding how to roll with the contact, or just kind of take a hit and. and you know, maybe not take the run of it, I guess? Uh, yeah, there is. Um, I'm not really sure if I've completely learned that or not yet, but um, I feel like some hits, you know, don't hurt, and I can bounce up really quick, and then you got some hits that are like, oh, man, that one, that one stung a little bit more than the rest of them. But, you know, I definitely feel like there is a little aspect of, like, kind of absorbing the hit more so than others. What's it been like, kind of film sessions with Rod? He seems like a very blunt guy, and he said, kind of said some of the stuff he's told you, but what's it like kind of him bringing down the film, and, and how has he kind of approached that with you? Oh, uh, yeah, he's been really good about it. You know, he'll tell me when I'm wrong, and he'll tell me when I've done things that are good. And, you know, like you said, he's, he's pretty blunt about it. He's going to tell you if, you if you messed up, if you, you know, cost the team and whatever, but he's also going to tell you if you held the team out and other you know, things, so. In order for you to become the quarterback you want to become, what are a couple of keys that, that really you need to improve? Um, you know, just spend more time in the film room, uh, just some more extra work with the guys after practice, before practice, whatever. You know, just continuing to hook up with those guys and, and translate it on the field to game day. You know, just continuing to improve in every aspect of being a quarterback. What's Rod like in game prep detail-wise? I know he's also taken over as the QB coach, not just your OC. Having him also in your in your meeting room, in your ear all week, and then him calling the plays, what does that do for your offense? Uh, you know, it just gives you a better sense of, like, comfortability, uh, just knowing what he expects from you, knowing what, like, I kind of expect from him, like, what I like, what, what he likes. And, you know, obviously he's been working on me uh, a lot with not getting lazy. You know, I drop my elbow a lot sometimes, and... He gets on me about that and just staying active with my feet. And, you know, he believes in me. I believe in him. So I think Coach Allen said today that you had maybe less throwing experience like as a high schooler compared to, like, some other quarterback recruits. And, like, a big reason they recruited you was because of your running ability. Just what was kind of your um, your experience like as a quarterback in high school? Uh, yeah, so my junior year, I started out as a receiver, um, like, early on in the season. And then halfway through the season, I switched. I was the backup quarterback slash receiver or whatever. And so I uh, became a starting quarterback later on in the year. And then senior year was my first year of, like, truly being the guy. And so, you know, I felt like I 
like you said, I was running the ball a lot too my senior year, but I was also throwing it quite a bit as well. Were you ever a running back? Uh, early on, like <laughs> fifth, sixth grade, seventh, seventh grade, eighth grade, I started to play quarterback. Ninth grade, I forgot how to play quarterback, <laughs> couldn't throw a football, and then uh, tenth grade on, I started to go back to, you know, kind of being able to throw a football again. So, is that where your desire for taking hits comes from a little bit? Oh yeah, being, uh, being a different position. Yeah, you know, just like I said, I love the physical aspect of the game. Um, not everybody does, but I like to be. I like to get hit. As weird as that sounds, I like to. I like to get hit. I like to deliver hits, and that's the fun in football. Is there any moment or, or maybe game in high school that you remember where you kind of realized that like you had a future as a quarterback? Um, you know, it's tough to say. Obviously, like just some situations and games whenever you uh, have to go score and you do and you just feel like not like the man, but kind of like the man, you know. So, um, you know, just just maybe just scoring on some drives or whenever you need it most. So, apologies if you've been asked this already, but um, head coach Tom Allen said your shoulder. I do agree. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> you mentioned Jalen Lucas. I know you can't force the ball to him, but his touches have been down. Do you kind of talk to him about trying to, you know, get him more involved and what's his kind of mindset like right now? Like um, he's right staying now. positive. I talk to him every day. Obviously, um, I just let him know. I said, hey, like you're, you're a dude for us. So just keep your head up. The the ball is gonna find you. It always does find the playmakers, and and he's gonna he's gonna make some plays for us. So. We'll see what happens the next couple of weeks, but he's a guy for us. I think Rod said on Donovan's touchdown that there's never been a more open receiver in the history of football. <laughs> Do your eyes just kind of light up when you when you see him with that yeah, much Yeah, it's one of those that, like, if I miss this throw, I will never hear the end of it, and, and I don't think I'll ever have an easier throw than this one. So, you know, just put it on him and let, let Donovan go run. <laughs> And it felt like it felt like it was taking forever. I messed with Donovan too. I said, "Hey, just unhitch the wagon next time, man. Maybe run a little bit faster, <laughs> so that way we can just you know go celebrate together." But yeah, I just gave him a hard time. It was it was very open. Yeah. You mentioned as a junior in high school how you kind of became the starter later <clears> in that <throat> year. Has anything of that year kind of mirrored this year? Um, a little bit. You know, just staying the course is the biggest thing for me. You know, you got to work regardless. Not everything is. Uh, it's always going to go your way in life, and you just got to stick to it, stick to the plan. Everything's going to work itself out. Have you always had to battle that drop an elbow? Because I've seen you make that kind of almost sidearm throw. Yeah. Is that something you've always kind of uh, – what is that, what, where does that stem from? Uh, baseball. Mm -hmm. uh, I played baseball back in high school and growing up, so they get on to me a lot that, about that a lot. Yeah. And I'm always like, you know, it's, it's not my fault I played baseball. Whatever. I just give them a hard time, but – uh, yeah, I definitely think that's from baseball, you know, just Because you can able get the same power, you feel like, and then yeah. it just, it just happens? It just happens naturally, so they get yeah. on, they get on to me about it. Does, does Rod have, like, a go-to phrase for you or say it? Just like, or what, like, what does he say when he sees it on film? No, nah, he's just like, just quit being lazy, dude. Just stay on top of the ball. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah Coach Rod. <laughs> so, I just give him a hard time. Is there an advantage to that, being able to maybe get around a, a uh there is an advantage but it's the times that it doesn't work whenever they start getting on to you they're like hey yeah it's really cool let's go watch this play back though uh it's not so cool here so you know they just mess with me about it too we just go back and forth but it does it definitely does help being able to throw it from different angles what positions you, you play in baseball uh i just played center field right field i played pretty much wherever they needed me to but um so obviously you like to be able to come up and throw it as hard as possible. So, Were you ever a pitcher? I did pitch a little bit, yeah. Light up the radar gun? Uh, you know, I was more just a fill up the zone type of guy. <laughs> uh, just try to let defense make plays. Just playing. Yeah, Thanks, go ahead. <laughs>